Hi guys, I am Uchewa and today I will be taking you through some of arithmetic sequence. How to find a sum of arithmetic sequence. Our standard formula to get sum of arithmetic sequence is equal to Sn is equal to 1 over 2 n into brackets 2a plus n minus 1 into d multiply by d all right from this equation this n is the number of term number of term d is our common difference And A is our first term. A is our first term. And Sn is the sum of nth term. Alright. A is our first term. N is the number of term. Sn is the sum of nth term. And D is the common difference. To get D, D is equals to T2 minus T1, which should be also equals to T3 minus T2. If it's not the same, if you get different answers from those two, then you must know that the sequence that you are having is not an arithmetic sequence. Then from here, if you can, if I can just take out this portion only, which is 2A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D. Remember from our previous session, we were dealing with arithmetic sequence of which the nth term for arithmetic sequence is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So this portion here and that one, this one is just a double, it was a plus a into n minus 1 into d. That tells me that this sequence here, I can actually change it to be sn it's equals to 1 over 2, open brackets, A plus Tn. I hope you guys understand that this sequence, if I, I just took out this portion and put it right here, then from this, the, from, from, the, from, from this portion, I figured it out that it's actually Tn plus A. Remember from our previous session, we were dealing with arithmetic sequence of which the nth term is equals to Tn it's equals to a plus n minus minus 1 all multiplied by d. Remember that this sequence, if I add it, if I just add a to this one, it will be a plus n minus 1 d plus a on the other side. So it will be a plus a, which will give us 2a, and it will be the same as that. So this sequence, this, the sum of arithmetic sequence is actually sum is equal to 1 over 2 into a plus tn, of which we know that tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. Alright, let's go uh, and do one example, then you will understand more uh, on how to use this equation. For an example, we are given a sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. From this sequence, the question says you must find the sum of the first 50 terms. Fifty terms. So from the question here, we are already given n. Our n is equals to 50, and we already have a, of which our a is our first difference, is our first term, I mean to say, which is equals to 1. Then, we now have to find d, which is our common difference, of which d is equals to t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2. Right? Our t2 here is 3 minus 1, which is our first term. It's equals to 5 minus 3, of which from both sides we will get 2, which just uh, gives us a confirmation that the sequence that we have, it is an arithmetic sequence. Then from there we use our equation Sn 
is equal to 1 over 2 n into 2a plus n minus 1 d into d, multiply by d. Then, remember we have already have our n which is 50, our a which is 1, our n which is 50 again, and our common difference which is 2. Then we just substitute everything into the equation. It will be 1 over 2 multiplied by 50 into our a is equal to 1, and our n again is still 50, 50 minus 1, and our common difference is 2. Then from here, 1 over 2 multiplied by 50, it will give us 25. Into 2 multiplied by 1, it will give us 2. Plus 50 minus 1, it will be 49. And multiplied by 2 there, it will be 98. So inside the brackets, we have 2 plus 98, which is 100. Multiplied by 25, it will give us 2,500. So this is the sum of the first 50 term. A quick recap, we have a sequence which is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Then from the, from, from the question phase, we must find the sum of the first 50 terms. Already from the question, we are given the, N, the number of terms, which is n is equal to 50. Our a, which is the first term, is equal to 1. And to find d, which is the common difference, we use the equation t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2, of which from both, from both sides we got 2 and we also got 2 on the other side, which is just a confirmation that the sequence that we have, it is an arithmetic sequence. From there, we use the standard equation to find the sum of arithmetic sequence, which is sn is equal to 1 over 2n into 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d of which we just substitute everything into the equation. Our n is equal to 50, is the number of term, and our a is the first term, which is equal to 1, and our d is equal to 2, which is the common difference. From there, we just multiply out, and we get 2,500. This is the answer for the sum of the first 50 terms. So if we just find all the 50 terms and write them down here in the board, and we, 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 we add them together, it, will, it should give us 2,500. All right, uh, let's do another question where we will be, uh, which is different to this one. Uh, the question, we are given a series which is 1, 3,5. 6, 8,5. This is the series that we, the sequence that we are given. Then the question says we must find, we must find, find uh, the sum. Sorry, uh, I actually didn't complete the, 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 the sequence that we have is 1, 3,5, 6, 8,5 up until 1, 101. Up until 101. Then the question says we must find uh, find the sum of the sequence. We must find the sum of the sequence that we're given. It's 1, 3,5, 6, 8,5 up until 101. Then from the question that we are given, we don't have the number of terms, so we don't know at what term is 101. Then, from here, we first find the number of term, which is Tn. Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Our D is the common difference, and to get it, we use an equation T2 minus T1 is equals to t3 minus t2 then from here t2 we have 3,5 minus 1 is equals to t3 6 minus 3,5 then from here 3,5 minus 1 it will be 2,5 is equals to 6 minus 2,5 it will also be 2,5 then we know that the sequence it is indeed an arithmetic sequence then from there 
to find our n which is the number of 10 we have our tn which is 101 here and our a which is the first term is equals to 1 and our number of 10 we don't have it that's what we're looking for and our d which is the common difference is 2,5 then from here it's 101 and we multiply out into the brackets 2,5 multiplied by n it will be 2,5 n minus negative 1 multiplied by 2,5 it will be negative 2,5 then from there 1 minus 2,5 it will be negative 1,5 plus 2,5n and we also take down the 101. Then from here to, cut, to, to get uh, the number of term, it will be 2,5n is equals to 100 plus 1.5. Then our n is equals to 100 plus 1,5 divided by 2,5 which it will give us, let me just use a calculator quickly. Of which the number of term here I got 40,6 which is equal to rounding it off it will be 41. Alright a quick recap guys on this question here we have our TN we, we, we were given this, the series which is 1, 3,5, 6, 8,5 up until 101. Then from the question that we're given, it says find the sum of the sequence. But then we realize that we don't have the number of terms. We don't know wh wh how many terms are thus in this, in this sequence here. Then we use this equation, the Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D to find N, which is the number of terms. Then we use, uh, the 101 is the number, it's our nth term. A is our first, it's our first term. N is what we're looking for. And then D is our first is our common difference of which we uh, we find it by using that equation of which we got 2,5. We substitute everything into the equation. We multiply out and we get uh, 40,6, which is equals to 41. Yeah, let me just um, do a quick calculation here. It will be 101. Oh, sorry guys, I made a mistake somewhere. If you can just check here, it's 101 is equal to negative 1,5 plus 2,5. And the 2,5, you leave it that side. And here it will be 101, not 101. I made a mistake here. It's actually 101. It's actually 101 plus 1,5. This is also 101. Of which here, when I use a calculator, it actually give me 41 as a whole number so the number of term that we have is equals to 41 then from here we can continue to find the sum of the sequence i will erase this part because we already know the number of term our n is equals to 41 our d is equals to 2,5 our d is equals to 2,5 and our a is equals to 1 then we now use uh, our standard equation for we now use this, our standard equation for the number for 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 for, for the number of term for, for the sum of the term the terms that we given then it will be sn now i will use a different equation but it's still the same which is 1 over 1 com, 1 over 2n into a plus tn Remember I showed you this equation that in the brackets it's actually a plus tn. Our tn, remember, is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d. Now that we know our tn, we just use the straight equation. So it will be 1 over 2 into our number of terms. We just found it. It's 41. And a is 1 plus our tn is equals to 1 over 1. Then... From here, we just use a calculator. It will be 101, it will, 101 plus 1 multiplied by 41 divided by 2.
uh, which the answer it gives 2091 just a quick recap from from the previous from the previous uh, uh, example that we did and we found n is equals to 41 d is equals to 2,5 and a is equals to 1 then we just substitute everything into the equation of which the equation now I've just simplified it because so, we already have our tn which is 101 then we just simplify it and make it 1 over 2n into a plus tn it could still give you the same answer if you had a plus a 2a plus n minus 1 into d it will still give you the same answer it's just that this one is a simplified equation then it will be 1 over 2 multiplied by 41 a is 1 our tn is 101 then we get our sum as 2091 thank you guys i hope you have enjoyed the session and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Met XYZ on YouTube so that you can get daily notification when we upload videos. Thank you.